As noted earlier, the migration melodramas chronicle a particular era of increasing global connectivity. As you'll see if you watch any of these films, and as you've already seen in those first few minutes of an autumn's tale, time stands still. For instance, we see late 1980s footage of New York's Chinatown, the Upper West Side in Midtown Manhattan, the Long Island suburbs, and of course, the pre-9-11 World Trade Center towers. I lived in New York during this period, and for those of us who remember what New York was like in the mid-1980s, the film captures the mood of many residents who lived there during what was a particularly difficult time. There are references to U.S. President Ronald Reagan and the growing gap between rich and poor, both in the city and across the nation. And the film offers a rare and textured account of what it was like to be one of the increasing number of immigrants into the city as it not only faced severe economic volatility, but as it blamed immigrants and poor people for that volatility. On the sunnier side, An Autumn's Tale bears witness to the way new immigrant populations, Asian as well as African, Latino, and Middle Eastern, were reinvigorating neighborhoods, institutions, and the city's cultural and culinary scene in the decades after the liberalization of U.S. immigration laws in 1965, as well as in the wake of political and socioeconomic upheavals in Asia. National histories inform and challenge each other, even as transnational realities challenge and at times redraw borders and boundaries. Audiences who watch the film see globalization happening literally before their eyes.